As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of commission work, but I got a pretty interesting email last week from a company called Elgato. They make app-powered lifestyle accessories. You probably heard of their product called ITV, which enables you to watch TV on your computer. They also have a wireless contact sensor called EVE that you can connect to your door or windows and then supervise it via your iPad or iPhone. It's a pretty cool thing. So after talking a bit about the concept and writing emails back and forth, I agreed to do the job because I thought it was a really interesting product. And I finally got to use my Rockler router table, which I was looking for for a long time now. So we agreed on the concept and I built a really tiny door for them to display on a fair at the end of the month so they could um, show the sensor in action. So this is the door that I built for them. As I said, it's super tiny and it was such a great project. I have to say, I totally underestimated the work that goes into building a door. Um, I watched a Matt Cremona video and that was pretty much all the infos I had because I never built a door before and I think and I think it turned out quite nice so it has these solid brass hinges the doorknob a little lock and then inside there's room um, for the sensor to go so let me show you the sensor let me unpack it because it, it has a really nice packaging looks pretty nice so inside you have the two things, one goes on the frame, one goes on the door and they have this contact that tells if they're open or closed. So obviously it would be a lot easier to put this in a real size door, but since this is so tiny, I had to make a little adapter plate for it, but I would just glue it in like this and have the contact on the frame and then it should be, then it should be good to go. I never worked with a router table before and I gotta admit I am super impressed with this machine. I didn't know I could work that precise to be honest. I used different machines um, for the joinery on the store. Uh, I used the router table, my table saw and the band saw and I gotta say the router table was by far the quickest and the easiest to use and also the most precise. I also used these corner clamps. Um, they were pretty handy when I, when I put the frame together which was a bit delicate to do. You will see it in the video tomorrow. Thank you Elgato and Rockler for sponsoring the video and thank you for being wonderful to work with. It was just a perfect project for me. I learned so much and even though I totally underestimated <laughs> the time it would take to build this store, I am very pleased with the project. April Wilkerson sent me this t-shirt. Awesome, isn't it? Thanks, April. I really appreciate it. It fits perfect and I will wear it with pride. I got a couple of questions on Twitter yesterday. Um, let's see. Oli C wants to know how hard is it to keep the two video per week pace? Um, it's very hard for me right now. And you might have noticed that I skipped the vlog two weeks ago because there's just too much to do. I really like my goal is to put out a project video every week and then a vlog every other week and then one video for make once a month and then I want to do like the 10 seconds videos which I haven't been doing in a month I think and um, I want to be very active on Instagram as well so that's for me that's an incredible workload because it's not only the time you spend in the shop building filming editing it's also getting inspired getting the materials I need to make some money so I need to talk to sponsors I need to talk to people who are willing to pay for what I do and that is very very time consuming plus another thing that you don't see um, in my videos are projects that don't work out i mean i have i can show you a project that i didn't like a couple weeks ago i wanted to make a lamp out of um, mahogany and copper and the project like it was done I, I did all the filming i think it was a 40 gigabyte project um and i hate it i hated it uh I hated the look of the copper, so I tried to put some uh, stuff on it to, to, to break the color contrast because it kind of looked a bit pinkish. Um, I don't like the wood. I don't like this. I hate how the light sits in there. I hate all about it, but it was a finished project. I worked on this for two days. So, and I have probably four or five more of those that are completely filmed and they are done they're finished projects but i don't like how they turned out that happens as well so 
I mean, sometimes you think, okay, this is going to be a good week. I have two project ideas and I'm going to do a vlog. And then only one thing has to go wrong and it messes up your whole schedule. And then that's it. For the rest of the week, you have to try to keep up with what you wanted to do. And that can be very, very frustrating. So yeah, I just, I think the, I think it's important to be strict with yourself and kind of force you to keep to your schedule. But if I miss a, but if I miss a video like two weeks ago where I missed the vlog, that's fine. You know, it happens. And there's so much to do and so much to take care of. Sometimes there won't be a video, you know? But I love it and I'm very motivated to keep the schedule. So if I ever miss a video, this is not because I'm lazy. It's probably because I either got sick or something didn't turn out what the, the way I wanted it to. Or I had other stuff to do that is important to make me some money probably. Justin Levine wants to know if I'll be at the Woodworkers in America um, thing this year. And I probably won't. I am super ready to go to the States. I really want to go there. And if anybody wants to pay for my ticket, like my bag is packed, I will be, I will be there tomorrow if you wanted to. But it's just a question of money. I don't have the money right now, but I will definitely try to go to the uh, Make It Bay area next year. Um, Archie Rocks, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name, asked me, will you be in Make Fair? Will you be at the Make Fair in Berlin in October? Maybe. I haven't, I haven't thought about it too much. I, I think it, yeah, why not? Maybe. Yeah, I should go there, right? I should be there. I try to make it happen. And he also wants to know what advice would you give a young maker? There's so many reasons not to get started not to spend so much money on tools, not to try to find a, a shop where you can, you know, have your stuff in, not to be inspired, just to stay lazy at home, just to keep doing what you've always been doing. And there's only one reason to do it. And that's because you're a maker. So if you feel like you have something inside that needs to come out, you need to express yourself through woodworking or metalworking or drawing or whatever, you need to do it. You will not be happy unless you let it out i guess well that's at least that's how i feel about it you know so just do it just do it i told wants to know about my um handwriting font if that is something that i made up myself yes that's my that's my handwriting jamie reader wants to know how my thumb is doing and <laughs> i think it's doing fine i get so many comments about it i think maybe it's time to tell you the story real quick. When I was on the hurricane festival, I built this tiny shelter thing. And at one point I just slipped with a drill and hit my nail with a drill bit and the nail broke. And that's why it looks the way it looks. Uh, I think the reason why I got hurt is because I was using very cheap screws because I had no budget at all for this project. So I bought the cheapest screws that I could find. And you know how the Phillips had like the little X, the screws have in it. I think it was like a wrong mold of the screw and it didn't go all the way through. So it was very easy to slip with the drill. And then the pressure that you force onto a screw that goes into the wood basically just came onto my nail. Um, it's fine. It doesn't hurt. I think I will lose the nail. I think it will start to look very disgusting because it's growing out. I will give you a close up. Just a warning. This is where the drill hit the nail. And here you can see oh, how it starts to grow out. As I said, it doesn't hurt anymore. It's fine. It just looks disgusting, but don't worry about it. So I think that means it's time for record of the week. This week is show your bones from the yeah, yeah, yes. Um, that is a classic for me. I listened to that over and over and over and over again when it came out in uh, 2006, I think. Um, it's a great rock record. And Karen O, the singer, she is incredible. I love her. I've never seen them live, but I think even on the record, her presence is pretty, pretty exceptional. My three favorite songs are Goat Lion, Cheated Hearts, and Phenomena. And way out. I have a four, like I have four favorite songs on this one. That's it for this week. I want to remind you that there's a huge Maker Cast giveaway. Um, my last video, my last Sunday video where I built the mixtape case. Um, if you haven't seen that, check it out. You can win that case. Um, there's a link in the description how to participate in this giveaway. 
I think it is the biggest giveaway of all times in the maker scene and you do not want to miss it. So that's it guys. Uh, check out my video tomorrow, uh, my tiny door video and I'll see you soon.